Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a middle grade book outlet haul. On this channel, I share everything about books. So I share homeschool resources and those books, some homeschool content, as well as many videos about books, all the way from chapter books to middle grade books to YA books and to adult books. So obviously I love books. And if you love those things too, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you love book hauls as much as me, please be sure to hit like down below and let's jump in. The first book is called Some Places More Than Others and this is by Renee Watson. And I keep hearing this author's name and I've been dying to try one of her books and I thought this is a great opportunity to do so. So it says, everything and everyone has a story, a beginning. In this book, Amara wants more than anything to visit her family in New York, Harlem, and she gets the opportunity to do so. It turns out that New York is not what Amara thought it was going to be, but she gets the opportunity to learn more about the city and her father's history. And I look forward to reading this one. Next, we have the second book in a series, and this is the Pages and Co. series. And this one is called The Lost Fairy Tales. And this is by Anna James. In this book, Tilly and her best friend Oscar can travel inside of stories. They can also bring people outside of stories. And that's how we were introduced to them in the first book. Uh, she discovered that when she was working at her grandfather's bookshop. In book two, Tilly and her friend are in Paris and they wander into a fairy tale while they're in Paris and they discover all the chaos that goes along with this particular book and it's up to them to figure out what's going on and to learn that unfortunately not everything has a happy ending. Anyway, I can't wait to read this one. I'm so happy that I discovered this on Book Outlet because I did get the first one in hard copy and I was waiting to see if the second one in hard copy showed up. And another hard copy book that I picked up is called The Little Girl Who Saved Christmas and this is by Matt Haig. And I haven't heard too much about these, but I've seen them around quite a bit. So anyway, I thought I would give it a try. There's quite a few, it seems, by this author. In this book, we meet Amelia and her mom becomes sick. And she ends up spending a year uh, cleaning and doing a lot of drudgery. And up in the North Pole, Santa is finding that all the hope levels are dipping dangerously low. And it's up to Amelia to save Christmas. No pressure though, no pressure. <laughs> I started to collect this series, it's called uh, Writers of the Realm, it's by Jennifer Lynn Alvarez, and this is book three called Beneath the Weeping Clouds. As I mentioned in a previous uh, middle grade book outlet haul, I did fall in love with Jessica Day George's uh, Castle Glower series, and in that haul I picked up the first book in the series called Tuesdays at the Castle, and now I have Thursday at the Castle, Fridays at the castle and Saturdays at the castle. So it only goes up to Saturdays. I don't know what happened to Sunday or even Monday. Anyways, I'm still missing Wednesday and there is a holiday one as well, a holiday at the castle, which to be honest, I thought was in this hall. So I'll have to check into that. Sometimes if you order and there's only like a couple left, you might, depending on the timing of your order as well as somebody else's, you don't get it. So Maybe that's what happened with this order. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm definitely going to check that out because I'd like to have holidays at the castle. And that does remind me if you haven't ordered from Book Outlet yet, certainly check them out. You'll guarantee to love the prices. And if you collect books, you're really going to be happy. And if it's your first order, there is a coupon down below. Click that. When you make your order and you get $10 off your first order and I also get a referral fee of $10 which I use to buy more books that I showcase on this channel. Also shown in a previous haul was Ellie Engineer, The Next Level. Oh no, sorry. The first, I showed the first book called Ellie Engineer and this is another one. It's called Ellie Engineer, The Next Level. And this is about a little girl who has amazing engineering abilities and I thought it would be a great book to read with my daughter. I love to have books that represent women in all kinds of science-oriented positions. If she goes into that field or not, it makes no difference to me. But I do think it's important for girls to see themselves represented in all different types of fields. And 
Science is one of the fields that as children get older and older, you seem to see less and less women. So I thought I'd definitely uh, give this a try with that in mind and hopefully it's a good series. And if you've read it, let me know in the comments below what you and your uh, child thought of it. <laughs> And a couple more books to add to a series. And this is for the Wings of Fire series. And, and this was another one of those books that I tried out in that mini vlog for Middle Gray. My daughter fell in love with the first one and asked me to listen to it. And I, right along with her, fell in love with the series as well, which I was surprised because I, you know, didn't really hold any interest to me. But I read it because she kept asking me to and she was so excited and enamored by it. It has quickly become one of her favorites and I see why I really enjoyed it. And so here we have book five and book seven. So this is uh, The Brightest Night. And this one is Winter Turning. Now this one I debated on getting is called A Dash of Magic, a Bliss Novel by Catherine Littlewood. And the only reason I debated is because this isn't book one and sometimes when you order on book outlet you have an opportunity to get book one and then later book two and three show up but book one may never show up again but i decided to grab it anyway because chantelle's daughter at an intentional homeschooling her daughter loved this book her daughter is 10 and she absolutely loves the series so i thought i will check it out and i'll grab this copy and try to get my hands on number one and we'll see what we think of it as well but if her daughter likes it that much I'm thinking that my daughter probably will as well, but we'll see. And this is another book to a series that I started collecting, which I still haven't had an opportunity to read, but this is The Adventures Guild, Twilight of the Elves. And this is a Disney book. And this is written by Zach, Lauren Clark, and Nick Eliopoulos. And I'm trying to think which book this is in the series. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Another series that I thought we would try out is called The Lost Rainforest, and this is by Elliot Schreifer. And they had book one and two on Book Outlet, so I finally grabbed those. I've looked at it multiple times before I finally ordered it. And the first one is uh, Mez's, oh, the first one is Mez's Magic. And the second is Gogi's Gambit. In the magical rainforest of Caldera, the animals that walk at night have been separated and divided from the animals that walk in the day. And then Mez, a panther, discovers that she can also walk in the daytime. So she rushes to discover what is on the other side of the veil and what other magical powers that she might have. Unfortunately, a reawakened evil threat appears and it's up to her and her friends to save the magical forest that's the first one. Oh, here's another book that we already have a couple for this series and this is the max and this is the max tilt series and this is by peter lagrangus and this one is called fire the depths and this features 13 year old max who discovers his grandfather's unpublished manuscript called of course the lost treasures <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of a Donald Duck, anyway, a Donald Duck movie from one years ago called The Lost Treasures. And he doesn't realize, Max doesn't realize that he's discovered the answer to all his problems. His mom's sick, his dad's out of work, and him and his uh, cousin Alex have no choice but to take off in the hope of, of finding the buried fortune because their home is going to be foreclosed, that sort of thing, and it ends up to be a big adventure. And then we have The Shadows of Doom by Jennifer Bell, and this is the second book in the series, and I already have the first, and again, every time I see this, I think oh, I like the English version, like from England, I like their covers way better than these ones. Anyways, I already have The Crooked Sixpence, and this is The Shadows of Doom. Okay, I'm going to try to hurry along and finish the rest of them. These are all books brand new to me. I think the rest are standalone, but this one says number one on the side. So obviously, it's a series. I have no memory of these, but I'm going to quickly try to go through them. This is called Love, Sugar, Magic, A Dash of Trouble, and it's by Anne Mariano. In this book, we meet Leonora, whose family has a bakery in Texas. And they're always making really scrumptious foods. And 
there's a festival coming up that's really important. But again, Leonora is told that she is too young to go, but she doesn't listen and she ends up going on her own and sneaking over. And there she discovers something that is not quite right. And that's that her aunt and her cousins and her mother, they're all witches. So they're witches of Mexican ancestry who pour a little bit of sweet magic into everything they bake. And Leo knows that she has magical abilities as well. And she's more than determined, more determined than ever to join the family business. And her friend ends up having a dilemma, which Leonora decides that that would be the perfect opportunity to use her magic. And of course, what could go wrong? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. The next one is called The Tragical Tale of Birdie Bloom. And this is by Tam Belts. They mentioned on the back that this book has the flavor of Royal Dahl books. And of course, I had to grab it because my daughter loves those books and she loves fantasy. So I thought, oh, this is probably the perfect combination then. And this is a fairy tale kingdom called Wanderly and everyone has a role. Birdie Bloom is tragical, though she's an orphan doomed to an unhappy ending. Agnes Prunella, there's a name, Prunella Crunch is a witch, the wicked kind. In Wanderly, a meeting between a witch and a tragical can only end one way, tragically. With the help of some wind and some letters, the most unlikely friendship is born. Here's another one I kept looking at and debating and finally just grabbed it. I love the cover and I love the title, Song for a Whale. And this is by Lynn Kelly, Make Waves About Something. <laughs> yes, in a sea of people... Be you. In this book, we meet Iris, who's a 12 year old and she's deaf and she goes to a regular school and all the people that she goes to school with, while they might speak a bit of sign language, they're not as good as Iris, of course. And she finds it quite lonely and challenging to meet a friend. And Blue 55 is a whale who sings a song that no other whales can hear. Scientists have dubbed him. Scientists have dubbed him the loneliest whale in the world. And when Iris learns about Blue 55 in science class, she knows exactly how he must feel. And she comes up with an idea. She's going to sing back to him. So will they find a connection that they're both looking for? We'll see. Okay, this is Warrior Princess. And it says right on the cover, book three in the May Bird trilogy. And I can say for sure that I don't have book one and two because I never heard of the trilogy before. So now I'm going to have to look that up after this. According to this, at Hog Wallow Middle School, May Ellen Bird was always slightly invisible. Then she went on a trip to the land of the dead. Back on Earth at last, May wishes, despite herself, to be back among the ghosts. Then one night, she gets her heart's desire. The ever after has changed, though. Evil Beau Cleveland has made the ever after as cold as his own frigid soul, and he put up a bunch of tacky malls to boot. Now May must find her way to the edge of the universe with the worlds of the living and the dead in balance. Will she be able to find her strength and to become the warrior that she was always meant to be? This one is called The Warrior Princess of Penny Royal Academy. And it says the battle between good and evil is here. And this is by M.A. Larson. And this is a series. thought it was a standalone, but obviously, nope, it's a series. By the looks of back here, there's three of them in the series. I'm not even... Oh, look. Book three. My goodness. So this is book three. I think I said before I started this stack that they were like standalones. Obviously, no. Penny Royal is under siege in this book. And after two years of intense training, Princess Cadet Evie has been promoted to first class. And she's barely out of school before she has called upon to help fight some evil witches and we'll see how she does. Well, actually, I'd like to see what happens in books one and two first, but anyway. <laughs> this one is called Museum of Thieves and it's by Leon Tanner. <laughs> Gosh. So I regret saying the whole bit about standalones. This says book one in the Keepers trilogy. And in this book, you're in the tyrannical, that's the exact term it uses, tyrannical city of jewel where impatience is a sin and boldness is a crime. Goldie Roth uh, has lived there all her life. And like every child in the city, she wears a silver guard chain, is forced to obey 
the dreaded blessed guardians. It's almost a contradiction. The dreaded blessed cardi. Anyway, she has never done anything by herself and she won't be allowed to go out on the streets unchained until separation day. And when that is canceled, Goldie, who has been both impatient and bold, runs away, risking not only her life, but those she left behind. Well, I guess we're going to find out what happens to her. Now, this last book, I think it's more of a chapter book, in my opinion. This is Bayberry Island, an adventure about friendship and the journey home. And it says this is a sequel to Bramble Heart by Henry Cole. Pretty sure I have Henry Cole books. I do have books by Henry Cole. I knew that name was familiar. It's this, the uh, Celeste series. So this is about the squirrel. I guess his name is Tweak and his life is about to change forever because he discovers a dragon egg. But unite, reuniting, but reuniting the hatchling with his family will be Twig's greatest adventure yet. He and his crew of friends are off to the sea to find Char's mysterious island home. Far from the comfort of Bramble Heart, will they be able to guide each other through the toughest storms yet? I think this would make a really great read aloud, so I'll have to note that. And if you saw any books that you liked in this haul, please let me know down below. I would love to know. It encourages me to keep making these videos, and I will see you soon with another video.